approach women without being creepy. Four tips, but I'm probably going to give you a lot more than that, so hit that subscribe button if this is a topic that you're interested in learning. And I appreciate all the support throughout, it's been brilliant, especially with making the Manny Pacquiao uh, boxing videos and the motivational uh, coward videos on, on facing your fear. So let's get into it. So before we do anything, dress smart. Again, an area where a lot of guys might forget, probably forget more than neglect. If you're dressed smart, right, and you, and you look smart in what you're wearing, in a lot of cases, that's going to eradicate women thinking that you're creepy. Whereas if you, if you don't dress smart and you look scruffy, and you look like you haven't showered or you haven't taken care of yourself or you've not ironed your clothes, then even before you even say anything, it's, look, these are hard truths, but we're people. We have to be honest here. Women are going to be uh, um, hesitant and, and they're going to think that you're, um, you're creepy. They're not, going to, they're not going to want to be a part of your life. So that's really important. Again, guys, I'm all about simplicity. You don't have to overdo it. I'm not saying you've got to go out and buy the most expensive designer clothes, Versace clothes. You can do that if you want, but just get the basics right. Whatever you wear, it doesn't matter whether it's Primark, Versace, no, I, don't care. I don't care about stuff. Looking smart, you know, um, for yourself as well, for your own self-respect and to feel good. Wear a nice shirt or, or if you wear casual clothes, just look smart, just clean. Talking to people. Really so tip number one is, when you approach a woman, make sure, guys, that you don't whisper. Make sure that you speak clearly. A lot of guys make the mistake of being afraid to, to speak clearly and, and, you know, and project their voice. And what that actually does is, it doesn't um, give you a good reaction. It actually makes you come across creepy from a woman's perspective. So you don't have to shout, but you want to you know, get your voice to, to, to a level, to a, to, to a volume level, for example, where a woman can hear exactly what you're saying. So it's very important that you speak clearly. Even if you're in a big place and there's a lot of people around in public, the more clearly you speak, the more normal and natural you're going to come across. Now, tip number two is make sure that you don't say inappropriate things to women. A lot of guys get bad advice online or they think in their head they see a movie and they think, yeah, I want to impress a woman when I approach her. I want to be better than the next guy and they end up saying things that are inappropriate and a woman just gets upset. And if you do that, a woman will reject you. She's not gonna trust you, especially being a stranger. When you've got a connection with someone in a relationship, that's different. You can say whatever you want to each other. You shouldn't say inappropriate things, but do you understand what I mean? You have that trust, you can joke, you can tease. But when you don't know someone, it's important that you've got that uh, respect. And you know, we all live in a society and there are certain rules that are in place. I didn't put them in place and probably you didn't, but collectively we all kind of agree as a society that there's certain things that you say and there's certain things that you don't say, um, say in public, so that's important. Tip number three, it connects with tip number one and two is approach with confidence or a don't approach at all. A lot of guys make the mistake of being too shy, being too nervous, being in a bad mood, being antisocial, being depressed. And if you approach a woman like that, she's going to reject you. So women are attracted to confidence. But there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Arrogance is not cool. It makes you come across like a douchebag or, or an arsehole. Sorry, my language. And it doesn't make you come, it makes you insecure. So don't be arrogant to women. Make sure you're respectful. Be warm, be friendly, be kind, but be genuine and, and be yourself. And if you project confidence, which, uh, which, um, which hopefully you will by watching this video, you will project your voice tonality, you will speak clearly, and your body language will follow. A lot of guys get hung up on what is the correct way to stand or body language. There's no exact right way, but there's definitely a wrong way to do it. You don't want to hunch your back. And if you speak clearly and you're confident and you're enthusiastic and you're respectful, you're kind, you're warm, your body will follow you know, that thought process. It will follow that state of mind and that state of mood that you're in. So that's really important. Tip number four, keep the conversation simple. Keep it normal. You know, again, keep it respectable. Respectful, sorry, or respectable. And the conversation will go really well. Again, misconception. Guys think they need to, you know, talk about quantum physics in order to impress a woman. Or I need to speak about something that, that's never been said before. Now, the unlikelihood is what you're going to say to a woman, she's heard it before, but that's not important. What's important is 
the way in which you say it, how you say it. So anyone can say anything and it can be received in a boring way. But if you say it with confidence and if you're genuine, then the conversation is going to be um, understood that way. It's going to be felt that way. So what's the best way you know, to start a conversation with a woman that you approach for the first time? Well, the best way is to ask questions. Now, again, as a cliche, people say if you ask too many questions, it's boring. You come across like an interviewer. There's truth in that. But not if you ask questions in the right way, not if you ask a couple of questions. If you don't ask questions, how are you going to get to know someone? So I like to ask questions that I generally want to ask and questions that are they're safe, that you can ask anyone. Question being, where did you grow up? What music do you listen to? What are your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? You can't go wrong with these questions. You cannot go wrong with these questions, especially out in public. So if you smile and you're confident, and you've got rapport with a woman, she will answer those questions. If she doesn't answer those questions, then you have to accept that, and she's not interested in you. Be a gentleman, uh, don't react, don't be rude, um, you know, don't let it defeat you. It's a part of life, everyone gets rejected, all of us do, just move on, and then you can obviously go and meet someone else. Eventually you're gonna meet someone that likes you and that you like them. So it's really important, and like I said, another important social skill, right? A lot of guys go wrong. When you ask a woman a question, shut up, listen. Don't interrupt, don't then ask another one. That's when it comes across as boring and it will just stress a woman out because you're asking, you're firing too many. Ask a question, where did you grow up? And if a woman says, oh, I grew up in Italy, then you can th then stay on that subject for a bit. You know, what was it like growing up in Italy? Which part? And then you can add your bit. Maybe you've been to Italy. Maybe you like Italian food or Italian films, do you understand what I mean? So staying on a topic shows you're intelligent, you're socially aware, you have social skills, and it makes, makes a woman comfortable. That's really the art in all of this, is being able to make a woman feel comfortable quickly. You can, you can only really do that with someone if you're genuine and respectful. No one's gonna feel comfortable with someone who doesn't have respect, who's arrogant, or who's insecure, who's cocky, who says inappropriate things. In most cases, no. You know, not unless, you're in a nightclub and there's alcohol, but that's a different situation. We're not talking about that today. And even that, in most cases, it's not gonna, gonna come across right. So be careful what you see on the television or movies or, or on YouTube. In, in, and what I mean by that is, you know, the idea of what you think's good and, and actually what is good in real life, two very different things. So basically what I'm saying is, this, this whole package about not coming across creepy is about approaching with confidence. And in my book, confidence is not arrogance. It's not being um, disrespectful uh, to women or anyone. And it's not um, being nasty to others. It's, it's kindness. You know, it's, it's being humble. It's being yourself. It's having fun. And it's being respectful and it's being interested. And if you, if you adopt those principles, those values, you're going to you're going to get a date real soon you're going to get a relationship you're going to do a lot better with women and you're going to enjoy your interactions so try that i hope that works let me think of a couple of extra ones uh, before you go make sure you like share subscribe let me know in the box below what, what was the best tip today and did any of this make sense have you been making these mistakes so yeah it's really about being normal i think that's what guys see that's what guys think they think normal is not attractive they think normal is boring but it's not, it's how you do it. So being a professional at anything, it's not usually about being flash. The, be the people that are the best at things, it's just, it's done with elegance, it's done with class, it's simple, it looks like anyone can do it, and obviously you can if you practice, but when anyone tries to do it, it's not that easy. So in a sense, approaching a woman, yeah, it's challenging initially for guys, obviously, because we've got fears, we've got anxieties, there's peer pressure, but once you practice and you can control your nerves and your anxiety and be yourself, which is important because there's only one you, everyone's got their own you know, unique personality. And that's where guys go wrong. They try and copy another guy's personality, which is unique, and then they fail. Then women, you know, women think they're creepy. So inauthenticity will just come across creepy. Speaking low, creepy. Saying inappropriate things, creepy. Um, and obviously, you know, having the right, the right body language. And like I said, look, this is how I, I've always done it. If you start a conversation with a woman and you can clearly see she's not comfortable, respect that, leave the situation. I say, all right, you know what, have a great day. 
I, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable and leave the situation. That's being a gentleman, that's being a, that's being a man, that's having strength and that's having, uh, obviously having respect for women and they'll, they'll appreciate that. But obviously if you approach a woman and she's comfortable and she's asking you questions, then you're not creepy, you know she's interested. And then if you have a connection, you can ask her out. You can ask her for a number if you want to go for a date another time. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's the way you do it. But most of the box where guys get women think they're creepy is where they're acting, they're not acting normal. They're acting out the ordinary. So everybody's acting normal in society, well most people. It's hard to quantify what normal is, but we know what it is. But when you start acting outside of that, that's when you go in the box and a woman says to her friends, this guy's strange, he's creepy, act, acting strange. So you don't want to act like that. You kind of want to be the same that you would be with friends and family. Obviously, there's a little bit of a difference because you, know, you have a romantic interest in a woman. That doesn't mean you have to act out of the ordinary. You can still be charming, you can, you can still flirt, you can still uh, create attraction. And actually, the more normal you are, the more grounded you come across. So guys are going the wrong way about it. Most of the society, they're getting it wrong. That's why they fail with women, where you've got to go about it the right way, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will make more videos on this topic and I'll speak to you next. So remember, become fearless.